for a level 29, I'm critting for quite a bit, which, you know, is kind of the demon hunter's whole thing. But I still would much rather just be doing consistently high damage without worrying too much about crits. If there was an option I could pick where it's like, you can cut off all your crits, but it will increase your damage by like 30%, I would totally click that. Because over time, that's going to add up to a lot more than what than the extra damage you'd get from critical hits. Friggin' your base attack plus 30%. Or it doesn't even have to be 30%. It can be like 15%. And that would still be significant enough to make me think about turning off the ability to crit. That would be kind of a cool, interesting change they could make to the game. What was weird, Tony? You said something weird. What was weird? Was it the goats? Was it something I said? Did I say something stupid, you guys? Tony's going all crazy in the chat. I hope we're not bothering Tony too much. I don't know why I'm doing a Bubbles from Trailer Park voice. Uh, voice. Which, by the way, if you have Netflix and you've never seen Trailer Park Boys, you're doing yourself a disservice. It's the funniest Canadian show. I mean, that still airs. Uh, oh, I just kid you know. Kids in the Hall was a great Canadian show. Shout out to Canadians if you're still in here, Mozboz. Um, Kids in the Hall was a great Canadian show, and Trailer Park Boys, I think they're on like their eighth or ninth season now. And they've, they've had like full length movies and stuff like that too. Uh, it's a really funny show um, with like the perfect level of dumb premise, you know what I mean? So it, it ends up being really enjoyable. Uh, I had a buddy from uh, Nebraska turn me on to the show while I was stuck in Antarctica. He was like, well, we can watch these shitty, mo shitty movies they're playing on the one channel. Or, uh, or we can uh, pop in a DVD or a Blu-ray and watch some of this. And uh, I think Trailer Park Boys won out a good majority of the time. It probably helped that I started that show watching a really high point. Um, because I think it's season three or four. I'm probably totally wrong, but I think season three or four, where uh, um, Bubbles, the guy with the glasses that you see in all the commercials, ends up finding his um, his mannequin, or not his mannequin, his ventriloquist dummy, um, and then goes on the entire episode to just be a dick to people with the ventriloquist dummy, and then, like, it turns out the dummy's possessed by the end of the episode, so they have to get rid of it. Um, but there are some really funny moments, um, kind of revolving around that ventriloquist dummy and the funny shit that happens because of it. And it ends up being a really good episode. You're doing one... 0 0.005 million damage per second with your demon hunter, you mean? DM, demon hunter? No, DM, what is DM? DM, dark magician. You're playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Tony's playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Tony, why are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh in the stream chat? It seems like a really bad place to that. Man, I really, like, I understand why they did it to an extent, but I'm kind of disappointed that there's no backwards compatibility on, uh, uh, what is it? There's no backwards compatibility on, uh, the Xbox One, because I would love to, instead of doing this tonight, I would have loved to have uh, streamed some, uh, Devil May Cry... Uh, HD edition, the first three games, because uh, those games are awesome. Granted, I could pick up DMC Devil May Cry, but I won't on principle. Uh, even with the definitive edition, that game is still 
a far cry from the original Devil May Cry games, and it's they st it's still kind of fucked up even with the uh, the positive changes they made to the game uh, when they released a definitive edition. In fact, I'd almost be I did a full LP of uh, Devil May Cry 4 with Tony, who's in the chat there, um, and uh, just absolutely hated it the whole time and hated on the game so hard but since then I've kind of had a change of heart about the game to an extent I still think it's a mediocre Devil May Cry but you know any legitimate Devil May Cry is better than no legitimate Devil May Cry or just no Devil May Cry period because um, that's a great game series it's a great action game series and I would love for it to continue um with the old stuff, not the new stuff. The new stuff is kind of bad. There's some pretty rapey dialogue in there, too. But I don't care about that, but other people care about that, so I'm going to bring it up because I like being a bitch and bitching about things. Um, yeah, I kind of had a change on, of heart on 4. I may pick it up, but... Um, a hey, level 30. I think I'm actually going to get an achievement here as well. would be badass. Unlocked a passive skill slot, and now I have to go to town to level up a bunch of shit. Oh. Um. Anyways, I was going to say, luckily, they're not the, uh, the only character action game in town anymore. And I literally mean game when I say character action game. All that. Train this guy up to get me up to level 30 gear. There we go. That's more than enough. And let's make some badass new weapons. So we've got a level 30 bow, and that's it in terms of the level 30 stuff. And a level 30 quiver. So we should be able to do some significant upgrading here. Oh, yeah. We got some significant uh, fucking upgrades right now. And then between that and... Oh, shit. No, not that. God damn it. I fucked that up. This quiver. Which is better than that quiver, but I think I can do even better than that. Oh, shit. That quiver's level 30 as well. How have I had that goddamn thing... Oh, because I keep equipping them because I'm stupid. Salvage. Because I'm hitting the wrong button. Because I'm stupid. Hey, guys. I'm stupid. Did you know that? Yeah, we're going to get some serious upgrades here. My survivability will go way up here shortly. God damn it. Just wasting materials that, granted, I have plenty of, but uh, that's worth it. Brings my thing down a little bit, but uh, my damage down a little bit, but the uh, survivability... Uh, really gets enhanced, and that'll help me with the whole hardcore business. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fucking fly. Plus, being able to upgrade the other items here um, will also help me. Oh, we can try this, but I have a feeling Kane's robes are not going to be replaced for another three or four levels here. Oh, close, but uh, no cigar so far. Salvage. Let's try one more. Reroll the stats on the item, basically. Yeah, nothing. We're not worried about that. Or I'm not worried about that right now. I guess those are our upgrades here. So we're doing 637 now. Um, that's the one I want equipped. So 623. Now we're doing 825. So that's a pretty significant boost. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I have that I can upgrade to? At the moment it does not look like it. And now we have some more skills we can use here. So let's see, we have three new skill sets here. We have Hot Pursuit, increased movement speed by 20% for two seconds. Gain a bonus based on your weapon type. Bow, 8% increased damage, increased critical hit. Uh, Tony, which one of these would you recommend? I feel like archery is probably going to be the best one here. Um, so I'm not really too worried about numbing traps right now. So I'm going to go with archery unless you tell me that 
one of those other ones is vastly superior for what I'm attempting to do. Hey, we unlocked uh, Reign of Vengeance finally. I actually really like that skill. And we have some new runes here for the caltrips. Or the bomb things. Actually, <gasps> I've been able to equip the sentry for like levels and I haven't had it yet. I'm a goddamn idiot. Turret fires homing rockets at random enemies. I love it. Love it. I love shit like that. Right, there's companions. The fact that the uh, demon hunter gets pets is pretty cool too. Uh, welcome everybody who's come in here. We're uh, doing the hardcore run, uh, virgin run through no help um, from higher level uh, characters. Let's see. Nothing new in rapid fire. Anything new in grenades? What do we got? Increase hatred generated. Bolas, increase hatred generated. We're not too worried about that right now. So, there's our new skill layout there. Um, I do stand still for very long, but I don't think I have uh, those skill things. Whatchamacallit, equipped. Oh, I guess the life regen uh, for remaining stationary is there right now. Uh, that's a good one, but I tend to let enemies get kind of close to me. Um, yeah, the one that increases my crit chance for standing still is... Where is that? Floating around here somewhere. Sharpshooter. Yeah, there's that one. I don't unlock that until, uh, 50. Um... Yeah, I might try brooding a little later compared to... What are, what are the other skills I have here? I have Thrill of the Hunt, which I can pretty much... I can get rid of if I want to. A Night Stalker, which is a good one for generating hatred. Actually, I will try brooding for a while. See the life regen jump up. So let's move around and take a look at it. So I move around, and it's 2633. Now I stand still. And after a couple seconds it should go up even higher yeah 3680 so that's actually really good looks like uh, my mod is exiting the chat because he has to go play eve online because he's a nerd not really I love you Tony go have fun and play your game we'll catch you in the next stream or after you do your shit Anyways, alright, we've done our uh, upgrading here. Let's uh, go back out into the world and uh, cause some mayhem here. Uh, hey, by the way, guys, I'm giving you all the 15-minute warning here. In approximately 15 minutes, I will be ending the stream. I am uh, just not feeling good tonight. Just feeling pretty shitty overall. Oh, wow, we picked up an item that'll allow us to upgrade even more right away. Boop. Fantastic. And do I have gems to throw in there? I do. Flawed emerald. Just throw that in there. And then chip amethyst for... Oops. I put that in the wrong fucking item. Oh well. We can grab that later. Anyways, I'm feeling tired and like shit tonight, so... I'm streaming because there are people who wanted to tune in, and I don't want to be that guy who's like, we stream every night at this time. And then not you know, do that. Because that feels, that feels like then at that point I'm just being disingenuous. It's kind of like when you tell somebody, oh, I can drop my sentries now. Yeah, buddy. I've got two sentries launching homing rockets now. I can't handle this shit. Oh, and I can't, uh, I can't vault out of there. I can vault out of the way, but... Yo, I love the sentry game with this goddamn uh, demon hunter. It's so good. Ooh, an attack speed bonus. Oh wow, that thing... <laughs> that thing just murked that guy from... All the way across the thing. I guess they were talking shit about Linden there. Linden being the uh, scoundrel you get as a different companion. Let's drop. Not be wise. Shit, I don't have enough for another one yet. 
Oh, there we go. Now I got two sentries out. I like the sentries because I can man.